we remember that X and Y have other nicknames such as input output, domain range. We also know that uh, the rate of change has uh, just another name for slope, but the initial value, which is what this lesson's about, is just the y-intercept, also the letter B. Okay, so when, when you looked at the slope intercept form of the equation, that's what we're looking at right here. Initial value is just another name for that y-intercept. So when we get asked which of these two functions has the greater initial value, um, take a look at function A right here. And if you recall that this is a slope intercept form, that means that this plus two right here, that is our y intercept, that is our initial value for function A. So we'll just make a note, initial value is positive two. Over here for function B, um, first thing you'd have to do is go get the slope, plug them in, we get the slope, and then plug it into the point slope formula, which is uh, this one down here. These are your plug-in points. The y would go into the y1, the 0 goes into the x1, and of course we got the m, and that would go into right here. And so now we've plugged in those three pieces of information. The next thing that would happen is, is take a look. Do you have any minus negative setups? Anytime you see that, that would become a plus. Now after this, the y plus 6 can just drop down because the next thing we need to do is just multiply. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times 0 is 0. Last thing we need to do is get the y by itself, and we'd say minus 6 on both sides. And that would leave us with y equals negative 2x minus 6. So your y-intercept is sitting right here, um, and it would be negative 6 there. So function A has the greater initial value. Now we'll just say, hey, look, there is a shortcut. When you need to find a... a uh, y intercept real fast, just remember that if they give you an x value, the y value is going to be your y intercept. See this right here? Zero is given to us for x, so y is negative six. There it is. We could have saved all of those steps. Uh, in today's assignment, I'm not going to give you that shortcut very often, though, so I just wanted to show you how we have to plug this in. Let's take a look at a couple of other formats here. Um, this is where you should be pretty happy if you see a, a uh, graph line here, because the only thing you have to do is find out where that blue line crosses the y-axis. And you can see right there that red dot's where it's crossing, so our initial value is zero. Hey, we found the initial value that quickly on function A. Function B, sorry I didn't give you zero for the x. Told you, not going to give it to you that much. Um, go find your slope. Then we need to plug it into this formula right here, the point slope. So I like to use this one right here. 9 will go in for the y1. This x will go in for the x1 spot. And then, of course, our uh, m equals negative 5 is going to go right in here. So we plug those three numbers into the appropriate places. Um, again, do we have any minus negatives? We're okay right here, but over here, it's minus negative, so make that a plus. Now, um, the y minus 9 can come straight down because the first thing we need to do is get rid of parentheses. So go ahead and distribute. Negative 5 times x is 5x, and then negative 5 times positive 3 is negative 15. Now just add 9 to both sides, and we would be left with y equals negative 5x minus 6. So what's my y-intercept? What's my initial value over here? It's negative 6. And this time the question is, is which one is smaller? Which one is lesser? Well, negative 6 is less than 0, so function b is going to be your answer. And just to make sure, look, if if they give you um, some information, um, if they give you 0 for x, you can take its y value and get the initial value. So in function A um, and in function B, they give a 0 for x. That means you can steal the y value. So um, over here on function A, it's going to be 8, and over here on function B, it will be 6. It's that easy, that simple, but... Um, I'm not going to give it to you too often on today's work, so good luck.